guys just took my farm exam i feel so defeated i literally thought that i'd be okay because i studied the entire week but i guess not gotta love pa school now i have to study for my next exam which is next wednesday i don't even know what to say all right where are we i don't know this i don't know the name of this place I'll put it on the screen, but we got rice, garlic naan, and butter chicken. Jessica got spicy, and I got mild, and we're gonna eat now. Yay! We're trying to go to Union Square Farmer's Market because I've heard great things so that house is like really big. Uh -huh. um, so we'll see how it is when we get there, but it is kind of late in the day for a farmer's market. I know. So. Also, we got free drinks from Blank Street because I think it was their opening. Yeah, that's what someone said. Yeah. So like, giving free drinks for everyone. Yep. Bro, it looks so gross. It's sweaty. Yeah, it's so hot. Wait, here's more. I'm trying to find jam, which we kind of found before, but then we passed by it. It's dangerous. We're crossing the street and vlogging at the same time. Hell yeah. Look at Strand. We bought some stuff from the thrift store and we're trying to find a place where we can like stop and show you guys all right jessica let's see what you got okay. um i, don't know I thought that guy was talking to us yeah i only got one thing and they're just jeans um like this distress oh you did get those yeah yeah they're just like distress jeans they're originally from like target um i got them for like 13 dollars your phone but yeah um i don't really have distress jeans like this color or in general really so mm -hmm. that would be nice and i like the cut too that's so sweaty okay so i got two things um and they're both pants i went in there looking for dress clothes because as you guys know clinicals is coming up so i was going to build my wardrobe but i didn't find anything so instead, I got a pair of black jeans from Zara. These are, I thought that they would be like wider, but they're pretty skinny jeans. Um, yeah, they don't have rips and they hit me at the ankle, which is good because I'm a short, short girl. And then the second thing that I got are these Gymshark leggings and they're like a black, Camo kind of thing. Jessica has something like this, so we'll be twinning at the gym. It's wait. No, it, it wasn't, wasn't recording. recording. Wait, no. Okay, so we're gonna start again. Okay. It wasn't this, recording when you. Well, you can't look thing. anymore. But this is my friend Maggie. She is driving. Hi. And this is my friend Kush. And we went to brunch this morning. It was really good. We went to Starbucks because they have half off. And they freaking gypped. I know. They didn't take off um, the. I don't even know what it is. A code? Yeah. They just they just didn't take it off for Maggie, and she tried to explain to the lady that she didn't take it off, and she's like, "No, it did." So yeah, so I got the paradise drink. Hi. 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 You haven't seen this guy in like five years. I know. It's only been actually a while. It's been really long. Oh, it's least, definitely been at least, at least like half, half a year, so yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the last time you came was like when you stopped by my house for no reason. Oh, right. Wait, that was a was nice that? surprise. That was that like was during really the nice year. Surprise. Thank you. But your hair's purple. You didn't know? No. Purple. It's purple. It was, I went through like five different hair colors recently. How was the lab? How was the lab? It was fun. Back to our car. I feel like you got this view of me so many times. Next time I'm gonna charge you five cents. No! It's a limited edition view. It was actually really fun. I really like. I really like doing the Cutting. hands on stuff. I felt yes. like I was a PA on Mr. Chicken. Yes. Okay, bye. Bye. 
Hi guys, I look really sweaty because I just came back from the gym, but it's also really hot today. I just wanted to update you guys on what we kind of did today. So we had class in the morning, three hours of farm, and then we had an hour of emergency med, and then we had our comprehensive clinical testing for Foley catheter insertions. It's so hot. We had to insert a catheter on a male and female and then go through the whole routine of um, like doing sterile field and then also lubricating the Foley, placing into the urethra and just making sure that the balloon is painted before we actually insert it because it's very important and to only blow up the balloon with water, that's also very important. So these are just things that we had to kind of run through and make sure that we we're doing it in the correct order. I know that it's really boring that I don't get to show you guys, but it is something that I'm not allowed to film because it is part of class. I still do want to tell you guys what I'm doing, so that's why I'm just verbalizing it for you. I guess you could say that the good thing about going to a private school is that our gym is pretty empty during the summer because I have this whole studio to myself. Good morning guys. Today um, my family wants to go to the beach. It's a little bit cloudy but I feel like it's okay for the beach because you don't really need it to be super sunny and also I wanted to go and just like sit there and study so I'm gonna bring my pharmacology material but I thought I would kind of just talk to you guys while I get ready. I've got multiple sunscreens. I have three different ones. I don't really like using this one on my face anymore because it stings my eyes. I recently got this new one from Trader Joe's, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Super Goop. I've never tried the Super Goop, so I can't really say. It claims it has no scent, although I feel like there's like a plasticky smell to it. I don't really know if that's the right description, but that's what I smell when I use this. And then also I have this one, which is Beauty by Chosun, and I heard really good things about this on TikTok, so I grabbed it also this morning. I started watching Grey's Anatomy, the most recent season, and it's so different now. Like, I can't watch it without thinking about school because I recognize all the terms that they're talking about. In other news, we have started to do our onboarding stuff for clinicals, so they've given us a bunch of modules that we have to to finish before we start clinicals and i'm honestly excited but scared at the same time i think they always say that we know more than we think and i hope that's true because i truly feel like i know nothing i'm also going on a small road trip with my family so hopefully i can vlog some of that we're going to a place that we've never been before and even with covid and all of that i don't feel super comfortable flying just because clinicals is coming up so if i do test positive and rates are going up again i'm just worried that like it's gonna delay the whole process and so i would just rather try to stay more safe and stay local and just do a road trip instead of going on a flight Here you go. What do I say? You can tell the world who you are. Okay, so I'm sorry. Or like I'm, what we did today. I'm Brittany's friend and we're in the same PA program. And we just did what? Central, what, what did we do? We Central did. line, um, NG tubes, chest something. Chest tubes. Chest, in, chest tubes, chest insertions. Intubation. Intubations. And um, lumbar puncture. Oh, and lumbar puncture. puncture. Yeah. All right, I came back from um lab today which you met my friend we were walking out and i kind of just asked her like do you want to be in the vlog because i don't know i think it's fun to see like other people that i interact with during the day tomorrow i have a scrub class with the school of medicine and then wednesday i have my ultrasound competency so there's the dvt one peripheral line as well as evast and then thursday i've got farm exam i don't know what's on friday but next week i have my emergency medicine exam and that's the last medicine exam of the semester so things are wrapping up really really quickly the last week i think is 
the week of August 5th. And so we are making moves. We are moving very, very quickly. In preparation for just some of my rotations, I know that my first one is emergency and I'll probably be standing on my feet most of the day. One of the complications from standing for long periods of time is getting spider veins or varicose veins on your legs. And one of the things you can do for prophylaxis or to prevent getting them is to actually wear compression socks or keep your leg muscles strong so going to the gym and stuff. I most likely will still be going to the gym but I just wanted to get some compression socks just in case because no one wants varicose veins. I got these during the Amazon Prime Day sale stuff thing. They were like two days and they came in a pack of eight and they honestly just say copper compression socks. So these are the socks and they come up to about, I think, right below my kneecap. So they come up pretty high and they're very compressioning. That's not even a word. Now I'm gonna go back to studying. So I've been writing out all my notes for farm also using my Anki. Good morning guys. Today is another day of um, like clinical lab stuff. So we have our scrub lab later, but right now I'm going to the gym. So yeah. So today's scrub class is actually at the School of Medicine. So I'm walking over to that building right now. Hey guys, I just got home and I'm getting all my stuff to go inside the house. But my friend from high school just texted me. Oh, the butterfly just flew into my car. Go out. Okay, it flew out. He just texted me and said that he got accepted into nursing school. I'm so excited for him. I finished at the gym and now I'm going to meet with my friend at the classroom to study. These kids, there's like a summer camp here. <laughs> they're practicing, I think it's either softball or baseball and they're playing country music outside, but it's super hot today. I think today's supposed to be like 95 degrees. I did just want to mention that I have such a big gym pet peeve like after going um more routinely now i realized that after going to the gym for more routine workouts that i have pet peeves and one of them is when people just go and they take up a machine or like a spot and then they just sit there and text on their phone Hi. What are we doing? We're dying. <laughs> no, we're not. Yes, we are. Don't no, we're lie. We're not. We're, we're studying. studying for farm, and there's no one here. Alone in the building. The skeleton, and there's like the. Where's my finger? Right there. I'm trying to point that. That the board. IV board. No. Oh. At the board where Kush wrote the. Myoclonus. Yes. I'm cold. It's actually really cold in here. It is cold in here. Why are you just filming me? Cause I don't like the way that I look. Oh, what? this the Kush is back. You'll hear me whispering to myself as I walk around the house. Are you schizophrenic? <laughs> well, I'm not talking to anyone. I'm talking to myself. That's true. You know, like I'll be. Well, you, I'm not like I know there's not another person there, but like sometimes I just have to be like, well, no, I'm gonna do this. Thing. Like I no. whisper. I don't no. talk out loud. I whisper. No, no. I don't do that. Okay, bye. <laughs> We're going home. Finally. <laughs>